Hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Wasteland on the Commodore 64. Here we are at part 23, where we're going to... I was going to explore the um, the casino, or at least the one that's allied to Farron Bryo. Um, now, I had done a little bit of browsing on the wiki for some uh, overlooked contents. And I did find out that there is a Kevlar suit and possibly one or two laser pistols in this uh, in this casino. So what I did was I set out to find them. I uh, wandered into the back room and proceeded to get myself into a huge Donnybrook. And I had expected to come down here and find... Some I expected to come down here and find a, a chest or something that's got uh, that's got those items in it, but no, that wasn't exactly the case. Now, what I did do is I uh, made a backup of my game file and I did do some exploring around, but what I had decided to do here was to just um, get myself uh, cleaned up. After all, most of my, uh, well, pretty much all my uh, party is down in single digits for condition, and um, I'm running a little bit low on ammunition. So what I'm going to do, now there is a couple of spots, this spot here is actually not too bad for if you wanted to improve your climbing. On the other hand, trying to get here is uh, a real trick. Is a real trick. I'm also low on explosives, so what I will probably plan to do is head back down into uh, probably head down back into quartz. I'll uh, loot for some more 7.62 millimeter ammunition, and as well, I'll. Um, buy some TNT at the uh, Quartz Emporium. So we'll just horse around here for a little bit. All right, climbed up. Now, oh, awesome, level four. Of course, Christine is quite a stubborn woman, so we'll have to take that into account. Ah, Snake went to level 4. Yeah, and this spot right here, uh, as long as I can uh, grind for my climbing skill, I can do just that. I've only had something for swimming. Christina. Right on. Now, I can't remember if... I'm pretty sure I couldn't use the sledgehammer or the pickaxe to fix it. But, um... Let's see if I can get over into that corner. Yeah. Sold. It's as hard as cement. And of course, because I don't happen to have any explosives, I'm not going to be able to do anything here either. So I'll climb down out of that rock fall. All right. There 
There's our hope. Okay, I'm gonna use a, a shovel, I guess. Especially if I'm having, well, especially if I'm having to expend ropes, just to, we'll need those later. Somehow saw that coming. Now let's see if I can uh, pick out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's uh, nothing but a great big string of uh, landmines down that way. Yeah, we're going to try to take them out. Ouch. Okay, so there we are, point blank range. I am going to attempt to melee, which is probably not the smartest idea. Okay, so we've got... Oh, Covenant took one. Okay, so they're still all online here. Oh, no, there's another Sirius there. Still baffles me why his doctor is still at um, still at skill level one. Another one on the serious list. Oh, it's my doctor. My field medic. Doctor on snake. Ouch. And they took out Mike Scott. This is not looking good. No, I don't. Okay, so he's going to attack. He doesn't happen to have any medic. Well, he's got level 4 medic. So we can bring someone out. 
Banks Covenant. I should really use something a little more effective than a shovel. Really. So that makes it three seriously wounded, two unconscious, and two still uh, with actions. This is getting good. Critical. All right, Snake is in critical. Maybe he'll have an epiphany. One of those NDEs that will just open his brain up to ever all sorts of possibilities. All right, I get brain damage. Okay, thanks, Dr. Mike Scott. And... Whew. Now Dr. Mike Scott is improving. Get... Thank you for improving, Thrasher. Of course, I must have gotten up to have to do something. Okay, yeah, Snake Vargas is incapacitated. Uh, it's a bit risky, but I got lucky that time. Okay, awesome. Okay, sniper droids, that's not quite so bad. Awesome. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to make a break for it. We'll return to the desert. You know, providing the last... Oh, good. They'll let us. And we'll do a little bit of healing up. We should also gather some ammunition. I should try to gather some common sense. It's not... I mean, the, the double experience award is great, but... Um, as far as I can tell, it's only the Proton Axe and I think the Chainsaw, which you can fire, find later on in the game, are capable of doing the, the sorts of melee damage that's capable of uh, bringing, down those, um, bringing down those robots. Oops, spoiler alert! Yeah, there's a bit in needles, but we're not going to go there yet. So I still have the whole temple of blood down below to clean up. Okay, so there we are. And come to think of it, I've collected an awful lot of other... Um, I've collected an awful lot of other items which aren't going to get much use. 
normally you keep stuff like knives and other stuff as tools, but and yeah, but as it stands, there's no use. There's no use outside of it being a weapon. At least I don't think. Okay, so here we are, back in quartz. We'll take a dive in the quartz emporium. We'll liquidate some of that stuff we've been keeping around. I've graduated to bulletproof shirts, so what I'll do is I'll uh, sell the leather jackets, those M19, those single shot M19s. Oh, there's a couple of knives there we get. There's a leather jacket and a knife you can get rid of. Get rid of them. And keep the crowbars. Yeah, it's time to get rid of the 45, 45 uh, caliber ammunition. On the other hand, what I could do is I could leave it for one of my uh, other party members if I've got to let somebody go. There's still um, some NPCs we can. There's still some NPCs we can hire later on. And I'm going to have this little rule that I can't just uh, strip everything off them and, um, and kick them out. Everyone that parts has to has to have a canteen, um, some sort of automatic weapon, and a little bit of armor. I'd probably say at least four magazines of ammunition. Yay, hand mirror. Okay, let's buy some. Yeah, let's buy some TNT. We're gonna need more TNT. Alright. Dr. Mike's got a you want a bulletproof shirt at least. Yeah, I'll hand the forty yeah, I'm gonna hand the forty fives to Dr. Mike Scott. I did have another one of these sessions, I just never bothered to upload it because I figured watching me manage my inventory is probably one great way to wind up with keyboard face.
especially where I tend to hoard and pack rat everything I can while being torn by trying to be efficient. You need stuff, just not too much stuff. Doesn't want to give it up. No, no, no. Yes, you do. And we'll give you the Mac. Oh, you've got a Mac. Okay. Got the pickaxe. Want that back? Okay, I'm looking for nine. Well, what am I looking for? I'm just browsing, see what I see what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. Covenant, it's a freaking pickaxe. You know, we can always take it from you when you're unconscious. Don't worry, we're going to leave you with something cool. All right, fine. So what we'll do, we'll go back to Ugly John's hideout. Oh, yeah. We're very happy to see you. we go. Let's see what we can pick up. Yeah, and the other thing that I've got a habit of doing is hanging on to as much cash as possible. Figure I'm going to need it later. And I gotta be honest with you, it's not... It's not a healthy habit. The amount of stuff that I'm going to wind up to need buying isn't going to out isn't going to outpace my uh, my ability to earn. And most of the um, placed encounters, or most of the uh, loot, is all based on um, is all based on placement or random numbers just generated upon your encounter. All right, we're filling our boots on 7.62 amp millimeter ammunition.
Okay, I think that's good enough there. Let's just head on back. Make one last stop at the Quartz Emporium so we can pick up relevant amounts of uh, explosives. Okay, so let's we'll head on back to Las Vegas. I just have to wait for somebody to go unconscious, which means I'm going to be in a weakened state when I get back into um, when I get back into Las Vegas. we go. What we'll try to do is we'll go back into uh, we'll go back into the casino and we'll uh, we'll pick the right guards. The last thing I'd want to do is gun down the entire casino just for uh, just for lulls. But at the same time, I can't ignore a. Um, armor is going to give me a class uh, is going to give me an armor class of six on top of that the uh, my first energy weapon couple of minutes what's my move oh crap mark twos yeah we're in great shape why don't we just take one step west we'll be singing a very bad naughty song 
as we thumb our nose at you guys. So what I'll do is I'll just stroll around outside and then start uh, start my capture just before I go back in. And I can say that uh, with how close I came last time, if I do wind up losing, what I'll do is um, I'll say so at the beginning of the video, but I do make a backup before I start every session. So what I'll do is, I'll be honest with you guys, if I was handed a defeat, I'll let you guys know, but at the same time, what I'll do is I'll restore that backup and um, and continue on, because, well, what I want to do is just show you all the content that's in this game, because it's in its time, and for quite a bit uh, time afterward, it was, you know, a really fun game to play, and always something new to discover. So, for now, thanks for watching, and I'd like to see, I look forward to seeing you in the next, uh, see the, the next video. Till then, take care, and stay cool.